Hi, my name is Joanne Chesson, uh, but now Smith, as I'm married. I work here at Cabrini as a programs manager for healthcare and education. I have been working with Cabrini this time, just since January, but I have a bit of a history. I used to work here before. Uh, when I first came to Swaziland, it was in 2010, and I came to do breast cancer services with the government. I was working with an NGO, and I was only meant to be here for one year. So you can see in 2021, 10 years later, I'm still here. And part of the reason for that is because of Cabrini. So in 2011 through to about 2015, I was working with an NGO and it was very fulfilling and I really enjoyed it. We were working with women with breast cancer and then we were trying to develop cervical cancer services. And it was everything that I thought that I wanted to do. And it's, it's what I set out as a young person to do in my life. So I was very pleased to be fulfilling that dream. But in 2016, around 2017, early, early 2017, I met a lady called Sister Diane. Um, whom many of you in Cabrini will know. She's now our regional superior. But at that time, I was meeting with her just to talk about cervical cancer and to discuss how we could start screening women in this area because we had started to screen everyone in the country but uh, St. Philip's area wasn't covered. So that was how I came to be part of, of Cabrini Ministries was starting a cervical cancer screening clinic. But through that experience, I came to discover that Cabrini is more than just a clinic. It's more than just staff and nurses who serve the community. It is a network of, of love and commitment. It is an organization that goes well beyond what any NGO is mandated to do uh, because it has a huge and deep commitment to both professionalism and to personalizing the care and bringing love. So after I'd worked with Cabrini on cervical cancer, I had begun to understand the breadth and the depth of the love that Cabrini has for people in this community. And it, I suppose it, it's exactly how I felt. Um, the sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, meeting um, the sisters inspired me so much because it made me feel like I'd found a professional home, but also a personal home, a spiritual home. Uh, they have so much in common with how I saw myself and how much I wanted to do for others. Their generosity, their kindness, everything about the sisters, I just, I. I felt at home with them and up until today when I've now come back to work with them again the influence of Mother Cabrini and meeting Mother Cabrini through the sisters has had a huge impact on my life. In 2020 when the coronavirus hit um, I wasn't actually working for Cabrini I was I was out of at, at another organization and I was actually offered the opportunity to fly home with my husband uh, free of charge and there was absolutely no way that I was getting on the plane. I felt 100% that I belonged here. And at the time, I actually had been praying over and over that I would get to be working with Cabrini again. And God has granted me that wish. So I'm here today to celebrate the sisters. Back in 1971, when the sisters came, it wasn't like 2011 when I came. There was no roads. There was barely any buildings in Ezzelweenie, which is now totally populated and busy. They couldn't send an email, they couldn't do a Zoom, they had nothing to communicate with, but they had the Lord and they had their prayer life. And so I honor the sisters because my life in Swaziland has been much easier than a lot of the other sisters who went through huge sacrifices to serve the people of Eswatini. And I thank them for that commitment and I thank them for the example they've set for us who now take up that flame and standing alongside sisters who we live and work with here I'm just so proud to be part of Cabrini and I want those drops of love that have come into my life to spread out as far as they can. So I hope to be working and to be a part of the Cabrini uh, family for a long time to come. So thank you for listening and I hope that you see inspiration in the lives of the sisters and in what they have inspired us to do as Cabrinians that are on the ground today. Thank you.